I'm speaking with Van Dyke Silveira. He is the CEO of the Financial Times IE Business School Corporate Learning Alliance. So very welcome. Welcome to Learning Now TV, Van Dyke. Well, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And a very simple question to start with. Why did the Financial Times get into bed with a business school to offer corporate learning? Well, that's the, the, the one billion question, not a million question. But the, the, the main reason for this is that we saw a great opportunity to work with a, a media organization to transform executive education, corporate learning. Things were not just uh, going smoothly. You know, something else needed to be done in terms of getting actionable insights into corporate learning and getting organizations to actually perform uh, their, their strategy and, and have the type of, of learning that is not just an academic style of learning, but something that really affects the end goals of the organizations. So you see yourself as a disruptor? Absolutely. I think we're doing something that at this stage nobody else is doing. Yeah. And you, you did a pulse survey, mm -hmm. which revealed a very, very clear gap in the market, if I'm not wrong. Is that Absolutely. Correct? Yes, we do this yearly. Mm -hmm. uh, it is something that touches the, the sentiments between uh, HR and L&D professionals, as well as senior managers and board level CEOs. And we understand that there is a gap between the sensations and the feelings and the expectations from the very senior people, uh, HR professionals, and, uh, and the market. So you're focusing on the senior leaders. They're, they're the people you want to convince. So how would you convince me? Why would I come to you and not to either an orthodox business school, mm -hmm. uh, plenty around, or even a, a provider who talks about the wonderful jobs they do, they do with corporates? One of the most important things that we do, especially working with the Financial Times in this, this insights they bring, uh, people who analyze trends and the evolution of markets, industries, uh, the, the mindset of executives, because it's not just about one thing or the other, but also the mindsets, uh, as well as having the rigor of a, of a world-class business school put together. The, the big thing that we do is we detect the shifting tectonics before a tsunami is formed. And this is the right way to approach. It's to understand what the little things that are, you know, start to show up in our radar are going to mean for organizations, for industries, and for humanity as a whole. You know, we have to understand uh, disruptions coming from geopolitics. This is something that we do better than anyone. Uh, things that are happening in the technological development, how these things are going to transform industries, how is the life of executives are going to be turned upside down or not. Uh, we talk a lot about artificial intelligence and people just being unemployed. Uh, we have different stakes and different points of view uh, about these things. And this is a way to work with us. Also, uh, transforming the workplace. I think the most important thing in working with us is that you don't only have uh, an academic experience, that you need to be taken away from the workplace to learn and then uh, re-enter that atmosphere that sometimes ejects you out when you return from a nice uh, long week in some, 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 some retreat place. So basically you're using the insights that an organization like the Financial Times would generate. Mm -hmm. They track companies, they track markets, they track trends. Mm -hmm. And instead of talking learning, you talk what is actually going to happen to your organization. These are the trends, these are the metrics. Mm -hmm. And from that, you have a conversation with the senior execs and build out the learning based on what the data is telling you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, that, and that makes you unique, doesn't it? It is. It is. If I, if I may say so, education or, or learning, I prefer calling it learning, yeah. uh, with very serious business consequences. Yes. You know, we, instead of working with just individuals, of course, the delivery vessels are individuals. But we also work with organizations so they find their own word, they found their own place in the way they do their own things. Instead of talking about just individual competencies, we also talk about organizational competencies, skills, and the types of behaviors that are going to elicit the execution of strategy as set out by the boards and the CEOs. Sure. And do you use FT journalists in the delivery? So do you involve them mm -hmm. with the companies face to face? Absolutely. Uh, the presence of journalists in, in the learning environment, in the learning experience is fundamental for what we do. It's not just the journalist, it's not just the academic, it's not just the practitioner. It is a real nice ensemble of all these different parts to create a learning journey that's very unique. Yes. It's point and counterpoint. Yes. Things that are happening now, 
with effects that are going to be felt in the future, and how is the past reflected in today's activities and, 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 and changes? So tell me about the learning journey. What, what would I experience on that learning journey? How do you deliver? Do you suddenly switch to corporate uh, orthodox business school lectures or do you maintain it as this kind of iterative dialogue going through the learning process? The whole process is very Socratic, but it's, it's, it touches, our, our intent is to touch executives in two very important points. We need to touch their, their brain, we need to be cerebrally uh, very challenging and engaging, but at the same time, we need to touch their core. They need to feel it to experience how it is in real life. So it's the closest thing to actually doing it before you actually commit to, to the real thing. So is every program that you do unique and tailored to the needs of the organization that you've investigated and presented them, it presented the organization to itself in a way, and out of that comes the learning journey? You don't reach for packages off a shelf or anything like that? There's nothing off the shelf. Everything yeah. is constructed to create the best fit between what the learning goals are, the learning objectives in terms of r realizing the impact in the business. Impact is, is, is the paramount thing that we're after. If we don't generate a positive impact that may range in many different ways, it's complicated to measure impact. So we have to agree with organizations what we're actually going to do, how this translates in terms of mirroring the strategy in what we're doing in terms of skill sets and in, in behaviors and the attitudes towards executing the strategy, but we're always after the big thing, which is what we do and how we work with you to impact your organization. So basically the key word is alignment. It's, it's aligned. totally aligned with the strategy, the direction, the needs of the organization, and the learning emerges from that. So how do you improve that alignment? How do you improve the bottom line? Absolutely. That's the kind of journey Absolutely. that you're on. And, and, and I think a very important point also in utilizing uh, FT articles and in, 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 in counting with uh, yes. FT journalists is for the organizations to have an opportunity to look at themselves, not a professor's opinion, but what the world sees in their industry, in their competitor group, and in themselves. That creates the opportunity for you to have an introspection and be very truthful to yourself and have the real call to arms to change. This, this is a fascinating development, I think. This is very original, and in some ways it's the way to go. You help organizations look at themselves, and in looking at themselves, they understand, and they know the journey that they have to take. So you're not forcing them, mm -hmm. you're working with them. Absolutely. I wish you luck. I sincerely hope that this transforms the world of corporate learning. Well, thank you very much. It's a, it's, it's a wonderful journey. I am very journey. happy to be doing this. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Thank My you. pleasure.